The Simpson. Welcome back to a new video from the scene and movie section. Although in this case, it's a series again. The month, last month, in the last episode, we recreated Homer Simpson's chair. The video you've likely seen shows the chair he crafts in his basement to prevent falls. As we said, we will continue the merchant series and discuss some of his inventions, specifically the hammer. Today, we'll focus on the hammer and its significance. Electric. Designing this has been challenging as it's not as simple as it appears. Let's examine the various options. If we look at Homer Simpson's hammer, we see that it uses what would be a pneumatic piston or pneumatic cylinder, whatever you want to call it. And here we have it, but what's going on? We will observe how from the bottom comes out what is a cable and goes directly into the cylinder. What does that mean? That means that the hammer is portable, it is not plugged into any compressor and it is not connected to anything. So making it pneumatic is out of our reach, we can't. So the second thing that came to my prodigious mind was to make it with an electromagnet or a linear motion solenoid motor. It's a small device that stretches when electricity is applied and returns to its original position when deactivated via a spring. Do you think it's possible to create one? What's happening here? That to move this hammerhead, it wouldn't have enough strength. Yes, it would have strength if it was that big, but making it reduced to put it here, it wouldn't have strength. So it's ruled out. The only material I've considered so far for this project is an angular motion motor. We can put here and the movement comes out here to send it upwards. I found one of 110 revolutions that by doing the mechanism will be left in some less. But it's the most powerful I have found. So I think in this way it would be feasible to make it portable, to make it with all the mechanism, all the batteries and everything here inside. And now since you agree, yes, let's get started. Don't worry about me breaking a new hammer. It's a cheap, low quality one that costs only 6 euros on Amazon. I've left a link in the description for those interested. Uh, I'm not sure about the material used. The grip is lacking. I'll try a different method to mill the interior and see the results. Uh, well, it was meant to have a slightly longer claw, unlike this. The welding doesn't hold the sturgeon for unknown reasons, possibly due to the material. We can no longer weld. My ideas have gone down the drain, but that's not a problem. The problem is that now there should have been a piece here that is going to hook us. A rod that I don't know how to put it now. I have a big problem. I made a piece without recording, because otherwise I don't think I could have made it. And inside here, in fact at the bottom, in what is the fiber of the handle, you see a little box, okay? Well then, I put this here to this screw. I'm going to put a pin. And what is the square goes into the box. So when I tighten that screw there, this becomes firm and I have here the support I was talking about earlier, okay? We've extended it a bit and this goes here. You're understanding it now, right?
By the way, I never say it, but Roger KRG on YouTube is only 50%. For the full Roger experience, follow me on Instagram, I'm a Roger KRG. Nein, so oino, 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 oino. that now a linear bearing goes for the linear motion rod. Logically, I'm gonna try first to put it with a clamp to see how it goes. What I'm seeing is that the motor is not going to have strength. That's what I'm seeing in this project. Making it portable without anything connected to a compressor or a larger motor, I think it's going to be impossible. But we have to try. The first thing is to try. Oh, well, and here's the axle. I almost take for granted that this is not going to work because the motor will not have enough strength. You'll see. Well, first of all, so you can see the movement that it would be, okay? Clap, clap, clap. But the hammer weighs a lot, so it's not going to have strength. I don't give it the weight with my hands, but let's join the last piece and try. Well, I think it's time to give it a go. Shape to the handle. I think it already resembles Homer's, don't you agree? <laughs> what do you think? Well, now I'm going to put it back together and we'll test it. Thanks for watching the video. I'm very pleased to introduce you Homer Simpson's electric hammer. Wow, it really does look impressive, doesn't it? What do you say? Does it look like the original or not? Well, avoiding the pneumatic cylinder. If this were effective, I assure you it would be a very cool tool, right? And the thing is, will it work? And as I said, the little battery it carries is 12 volts. I don't know what amperage it has because neither the battery nor the page where I bought it specifies it. I chose an angular motor with a reducer to compensate for the expected low power as the reducer increases its strength. The head weighs around 700 grams, which is quite heavy. I'm unsure about what to do next. I'm not going to add another battery because then it would be 24 volts and I think I'm going to burn it. I'm going to add another six volt battery. So we have 18. And if I burn it, it burned and the video ended. If not, it will give it a power boost. We'll test it now. The idea was to make it like a real portable one. That's why I avoided putting a compressor hose on it. We know that a tire with a compressor would have a lot of power. I'm gonna do it here in front of you so you can see that if it burns, it burns. 
First, I'll connect the two batteries, 12 and 6 volts, totaling 18 volts. Stay put as I'm about to tell you what you need to hear. We now have 18 volts, the engine is specified for 12 and... Now, now it does have more power. Call me Lola, not Dolores. Finally, Homer attempts to hammer a nail into the wall. From what I understand, the walls of most houses in the United States are made of wood, lined with a thin layer of plaster. I don't have drywall, so I'll test directly on the wood. A small nail works, so let's try a bigger one. Homer Simpson, you... ...are getting out of hand to the side. Of everything that weighs... There, Manuela, there. Let's go, it's already piling up. Ole, Manuela, let's go, Ole, let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, it's going. Am I really piling up? Well, at least it serves to make the boss believe that you are working. I think it needs more power. Let's do one thing, friends. As I know that the batteries have 12 volts, but they have very little amperage, and I know that's why they don't work. Oh, I'll put the 12 volts here, which though not portable, will give it more amperage at 12 volts. And you'll see how it's now going to gain more strength. Oh yes, oh yes, 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 like that, like that, like that, like that. Well, the challenge is met, because we managed to make the laptop work, but now it really has the strength it needs. Come on baby, it's going to be sexy. A sexy move, a sexy move. Let's see how well we can do it now. Perhaps it won't succeed at all. Grab with a wrench, because we already know that this can go crazy. And no, I don't want to burn my fingers. Let's go, my way. That can't be right. God, this is very hard, huh? Dude, he nailed it completely. Let's try with a bigger one. One more. Bigger. I'm not going to do tests. We're going straight to something fatter. Something fatter. Let's go, Antonio. Oh, no. Able to give it. Oh damn, the screw came out and not the one in my head. I lost that a long time ago. Let's go, Raimundo. Let's go, let's go. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Take, take, take. Okay, strong. Hey, damn, damn parry. My goodness, what a shot he makes. It's a nail, but what a shot he makes. Come on, a smaller one. Let's see if this one continues. Let's go, again. I'm not the one giving those blows with my hand, it's just that it moves my whole body, it shakes me. I, I ask you for a hand that looks like a sardine. The poor thing lays eggs in the barn. Kicks the loaf that is second hunger, and the poor thing is all naked. Yes sir, yes sir, the party works. And finally, he manually nails it so you can see the force it takes to do this. Honestly, I didn't give it hope, but now I want to spend the whole afternoon smashing things. Friends, will Johan Chao Chokshin forge his next katana with this? Go for it, Manolo. Ole, ole, ole. And now I'll tell you what you wanted to hear. 
Homer Simpson said he was previously told he had the Sambido dance, but now he actually has it. He made three more recognized inventions among others. No, they were the chair we made the other day which worked moderately, the hammer we made today works perfectly, but there's something left, there's something left. I'm sure more than one knows what it is. The blue makeup cups. I think I'm going to give that project high hopes. Yes, if you don't want to miss it, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to get notified. Because I've already started to rack my brain and I'll soon get that project underway. I hope you liked it. And if at midnight you hear someone knocking at your door, don't be surprised if it's me. Greetings friends and see you in the next video. You can go in peace.